So please keep your mind at ease. It's obvious. Predictions for 2021. What are some of the things that we could possibly expect moving forward in this year? So we've been through a lot in 2020, but that's just the beginning. Like a solar flare, yeah, we keep it bright. Take a look into the sky, yeah, I be taking flight. 2020 vision, everything gon' be alright. Ascending to new heights with my third eye. Elevate your frequency, ain't no other way to be. When we rise into 5 e feel the love strong. Open your chakras, can't be locked to energy hot. Sound like woo. Age of the 2020 was just the beginning and I believe that you know things that was just I believe are just the testing grounds you know what I'm saying 2020 was just the testing grounds and 2021 is the time that we could get a lot more crazy things more restrictions possibly even happening I know I talked about this in my previous videos but we had the great conjunction that happened and it was Jupiter and Saturn right the planets for expansion, which is Jupiter, and the planet for Saturn, which is restriction. See, Jupiter is also, you gotta think about it, Jupiter is bigger than Saturn, right? So we could be getting so, so we're gonna be continue waking up. Like, in 2020, more people have been waking up more than ever. Just take a look all around. You, I've, so many, I, I've talked to people, like, a lot of people are noticing that a lot of people have been waking up, you know what I mean? Like a lot of people have been waking up in 2020 because we have begun to enter into this age of Aquarius and now we're going to be wanting more freedom, right? December 21, we, we locked in, Jupiter and Saturn locked in, they were into the place, they were in in the air sign of Aquarius at the zero degrees, at zero degrees, right? So now you see that we're entering into this age where we want more freedom, right? We want more freedom. We don't want this lockdown stuff. We, in my previous video, I explained for astrology how major solar flare activity, major solar activity has been linked to consciousness, right? On linked to consciousness for humans, right? And it's been linked to major events in history and some of those events in history have been revolutions right we had a lot of revolutions that have been linked with major solar activity right and we're going to be getting a lot more solar activity as we go move along right even nasa said this right i don't know how much you believe in nasa right i mean i know nasa in hebrew stands for like to deceive right and i know right i know i know so it's like how much can you believe them but you know there, I do believe that like, there is going to be a lot more solar flare activity. And if we take a look at the graph, we, we take a look at the graph that shows the major solar flare activity and historical events on Earth, it goes to show, right, that there's some, bi there's some big things happening, right? Big things to come. As we enter into this age of Aquarius, you know, certain things have been really helping me understand astrology a lot more. You know, around December 21st, like some big things happened to me, my personal life, right? A very emotional, very intense emotional things happened right around, like for like three, four days straight around December 21st happened to me. It was like, and then after that, I'm like, all right, I believe in astrology like fully. Like, like there's no way this could happen on any other day. And of course it happens exactly on that particular day, right? And for me, as we, uh, you know, Jupiter stands for expansion and abundance. Like I've had so, yes, I've been doing affirmations every single day, every single day since like August, but I've been having so, like so, I've been manifesting like so much more, so much more. So it, like things have been literally materializing like the craziest things. Like, and I want you to know that this is the time for us to start manifesting, right? This is the time for us to start manifesting more and more. In these coming years, you know, this year, take some time because here's, all right, so let me get into, let me get into 
uh, the Simpsons, right? The Simpsons, they predicted, you know, um, the Doomsday, right? They predicted the Doomsday, uh, the, four, the Four Horsemen as well. And yes, it could be like predictive programming, right? It could be like predictive programming. And they might even implant this into our subconscious for us to just accept, you know, that these kinds of things are going to be happening, right? These kinds of things like, oh, it's going to be terrible. We're going to have these horrible things that are going to be happening. So that's the thing about The Simpsons. You got to realize, like, don't take that as truth. Don't take The Simpsons as truth because that is not true. Yes, some, some things might have lined up that, you know, came, that came into being from The Simpsons, right? But that doesn't mean that everything that they put out there is going to come to, is going to actually happen, right? Don't, don't look at it that way. Don't look at it that way. See, yeah, I, th I think that, but the thing about this, that they put it into their show, and I do, that's why I also, in a way, believe, you know, 2020 was the testing grounds. Like, people are just doing almost like anything that they say. Almost like anything they say. They say, do this, the people do this. Do that, they they do that, you know? Just, just following, they just following, right? And it's like, okay, we got, we got the, we got, our, we got the people to do this and that. So now they're, now, we, now we know, now we know, okay, that our test, a little test experiment is working. You know, they're going to follow blindly because all of our brainwashing has worked, right? So it's, that's the thing. Um, astrology expert Braca Goldsmith she was also talking about how there will be issues with restrictions of freedoms. She is an astrology expert and she's got a ton of videos, big following. She was explaining there will be there will be issues about restrictions of freedoms. She explained there will be more protests, more riots, demonstrations, more demands for freedoms, right? She also said that there will be more demands for freedoms. And she also stated that chances are the authorities will try to restrict these freedoms. Of course. Of course, right? They might try to clamp down, which is, th these are the Saturn energies, right, of restrictions. And they, they might want to try to clamp down even more. But that doesn't mean that we got to go along with it. We don't have to follow blindly. We don't have to follow blindly. They like, take a look at all these different things right now. In 2021 take a look it's the 21st right now and we have not had too much about the new variant you know what I'm talking about the new variant that happened in the UK and apparently they're on lockdown and I heard something about like a passport to get into the supermarkets and we don't want that right we, I'm, man we really don't want that but that's another thing like you need to start having your own garden so you don't rely on the matrix you don't want to have to rely on the matrix you want to be able to rely on yourself like what if all this what if what if the supermarkets all around us all of a sudden required you to get this passport for getting the i don't want to say the certain thing the certain word because I don't want to get, you know, I don't want the algorithm to like trigger me and like silence my videos. So I'm going to call it the V thing, right? You know what I'm talking about, right? The V thing. A passport for the V thing to get into supermarkets. You don't want that, right? Imagine people are, if they don't want, if people don't want, like you, don't want to get your V thing done. You know what I mean? Yeah, you better start gardening. <laughs> this is the, this is the year. This is the year for gardening. You get your seeds now. That's, that's one thing I really want to tell you, like, it's, this is going to be great for you too anyways, like, it's much more healthier to know exactly where your food is coming from, it's so much healthier to know where your food is coming from, because you know, you, you're going to be using the things that you know that are healthy, right, you, like, you don't have to use pesticides, you can use neem oil, right, just an example, but that's one thing, so, we got this variant, right? This new variant of the the C thing, you know what I'm saying? And it's not making the news really. It's not really making the headlines. But this is exactly what happened last year. This is last year. It was around February too. Like it, the C thing was kind of getting around. It wasn't super crazy. Like it was starting to get there, but it wasn't. 
right? But see, that's the thing. Now we can soon start getting crazy with this new variant. And is the is the V thing for the first C thing? Is it gonna is it gonna be good for the variant too? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, is it, or are they gonna have to get a whole new round over and over again, over and over again? See, that's why you gotta start growing your own food. Grow your own food. Don't rely on the matrix. Don't rely on the matrix. And if you got some, if you're close, you talk with your with your neighbors and stuff. Hey, maybe you can come up with a thing like if you don't have too much space in your backyard or whatever. Maybe you guys can come up with something like with your neighbors like, oh, you can grow this, and we'll grow this, and you can kind of get like a community going, so that no none of you gotta rely on on, on the matrix on, on the supermarket so that you get in you get these v things done because these these v things they can be they can be destroying your dna destroying your dna see we got 90 percent junk dna 90 percent junk dna you know if we can just keep tapping into this this into our into our DNA, into our potential. Like, we could be like literally superhumans. We could do like anything, right? We could do like anything. I've been reading, you know, Dr. Joe Dispenza's book. I've been reading his book called You Are the Placebo. And I read his whole book called Becoming Supernatural. And it's literally incredible. It's like people have been overcoming just about anything, just about like all these different types of diseases right and illnesses just with their mind through meditation and doing he doesn't call it exactly kundalini work but it's kind of like what it is like it's uh in, it's like meditating having these really uplifted states of gratitude and for whatever vision you have for yourself and and moving the energy upward basically these things have been helping people overcome like anything like cancer like these crazy, crazy disease, diseases, illnesses, like, that will just blew my mind reading about, like, he himself has overcome a broken back, like, a broken spine. They told him he would, they, to, they told Dr. Joe Dispenza that he would never be able to walk, but he literally restructured, just fixed his whole spine through meditation alone. You know what I'm saying? Like, we have some incredible, incredible superpowers, right? We got incredible powers. And we just, all we have to do is really just tap into it. Just tap into it. Right? And so, we got this, this thing, like the Simpsons, like, they're saying there's going to be Doomsday. The Four Horsemen, right? Saying there's going to be this, all this crazy stuff. Like, it even said the famines, I believe. The Four Horsemen. Uh, on, on uh, the Simpsons. This is, they, they want you to be programmed to expect that things are going to be horrible into your life horrible in your life like that this is what they want they 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 want your life they want you to suffer they want you to suffer they don't want you to they don't want you to upregulate your dna to activate your dna that has been dormant because that would mean that you don't need any drugs you don't need any drugs from the pharmacies because your body can create it by itself like your body can literally create any drug that you need by itself Dr. Joe Dispenza has talked about this in his book. So much research has been done. Like We are literally so powerful, so powerful. And so the big thing that I want to tell you coming in 2021, the prediction is it's just the time to start manifesting more. Getting into the fifth dimension, the new earth. Getting into that space of love. Just you need to really start meditating if you're not meditating right now. You really need to do this more. You, you can literally create and manifest any reality that you desire. This is the time. This is the time. We, are, we have entered the age of Aquarius. And now is the time for you to focus on the light. Focus on the amazing things that can happen in your life. You can. You don't have to be stuck on this timeline of what they want the narrative to be. You create your own timeline. Create your own timeline. See, that, that for me is the biggest thing, right? The biggest thing, right? Focus on what you're manifesting. 
Fuse passion will work, you know what I mean? Like maybe you can start, if you've been thinking about maybe getting a new job or getting, getting paid for something you love to do, this is the time to start working on your dreams. Start working on your dreams. This is the time to start working on your dreams and going after that life that you want so much. Like if you just take a moment, like picture your, your ultimate best reality. Right now is the time to do this. Picture your ultimate best reality. It is the time for you to manifest this. So despite all the things that might be going around in 2021, it could start looking kind of crazy, right? It can start looking kind of crazy, but don't let this pull your energy down. Don't let it pull your energy down. Don't. And an amazing thing too that happened, as you can see, we had the, we, we had this new movie called the uh soul it's called soul right and that came out as we enter the age of aquarius so that's pretty incredible too as you can see more and more are going to be waking up yeah i know disney is kind of, like the fact that like around when the sea things started hitting like all these ceos were stepping down like that was sketchy that was mad sketchy and it's, it's, the disney ceo stepped down too so it's like yeah, of course. I'm I'm wary of uh, of Disney as well, but I mean, Pixar is a, is the one who actually had the creative on the whole thing, on the whole movie. So, and that was such an enlightening movie. Like you watch that movie, it's it's all about the afterlife and the, the astrals. So you see, more and more people are going to be especially waking up, even watching this movie. So we're gonna have a lot more of that to come. A lot more with a lot more waking up we can get them trying to clamp down they don't because they don't want that right so with a lot of freedom comes potential restriction but we the main takeaway is focus your timeline on what you believe is the best reality for yourself that's the biggest thing start your own garden it is time it's it's actually a beautiful it's such it's such a beautiful time right now it's such a beautiful time right now. Focus on the positives. Always focus on the positive. Start meditating, doing your inner work, getting over your traumas. Right now is the time. Right now is the time. Seriously. So, until next time, my next video, hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button. And hit the notifications as well so you don't miss when I post another video. Till next time, peace out, please. Keep your mind at ease. It's obvious. Also, if you would like to keep supporting this channel, you can join on the Patreon to become an Ascending member. An Ascending member as a part of the Life Force, my spiritual conscious community where we talk about these things from Zoom calls and in our Discord channel, Discord server, you'll get access to all the channels and you'll get all my exclusive content, videos, music, photos, voice recordings. You'll get to get a lot of content first. The link for that is gonna be in the description. So till next time, peace Oh, please. Again, keep your mind at ease. It's obvious.